We're going to install an all balls kit onto the steering shaft and then back into the motorcycle as well. So I love these kits. They're really super handy for one part number and you get the seals and everything. So I have a really detailed video on this that I recommend you guys go walk because today I'm not going to repeat all that information. I'm going to show you here something though that you want to check. This seal here is supposed to go up into the bottom of the motorcycle frame. Does that make sense? So that's what gives it its water resistance. I wouldn't call it waterproofing. I call it water resistance. One thing I always recommend is that you take and do a little test fitting in these parts because they're not OEM. Okay. This kit fits a whole bunch of makes and models. We need to consider that too. Do you see how that's not a very tight fit on there? Yep. So when you think about this, you watched how hard it was to get this bearing off. Or not hard that it's a real tight interference fit. If I'm not, as I'm driving this bearing down, correcting this and getting it to really center up in there, do you see how it could be loaded to one side? You know, it doesn't have any RPM to it, but we end up not having it seal 100% around. So that's, that's one thing. Another thing, so here's the bottom of the steering neck, and I think this is something that people take for granted too, is not to, to make sure that you take this seal and see how it fits in the frame. Are you with me on there? I've yep. gotten these where they don't fit, they're wrong, they're mispackaged. It's pretty rare, but you never know if someone else opened it up or whatnot. So we're a big fan of test fitting our parts. Let's take a look at these seals up close so you kind of get an idea of what's going on here and why this is so important. You see that raised edge? Yeah. Okay, this, this is metal. This is a shim. Okay, so we want the rubber going around it, but we don't want the rubber contacting the, the cage or the roller. This is a big issue on wheel bearings. Remember us talking about that? Mm -hmm. So you can see there that fits in there and spins nice. If you put that on and it is smoking the cage in there, watch that other video that I have because I'll, I'll show where that's where you'd put a shim under here to raise this up so that this lip isn't hitting the cage. Make sense? Yep. This one fits great, so we're gonna be good to go. All right, we'll move forward, I'll put a link uh, in there of that. There is something else I would like to do right now and I'd like to go ahead and grease the bearing because I could do a better job now than I will if uh, it were installed on here. What you're doing is you're going to press and you're wanting it to squeeze out. So we absolutely got to be sure at this point. With our part tool, what's really cool about this, you're going to see here is we have all these different adapters that we could size on here. We our goal is to make sure that we're pushing on the inner race. If we went this way, what would we do that bearing? Ruin it. We would ruin it. You know, when people don't have this tool, what they're doing is they're taking their old punch sets and grabbing a hammer and trying to knock that down. It is super hard not to hurt that bearing, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you're gonna slip and hit the cage. You really need the right tools for this. So we're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna be sized up there. I want you to see something else too. We put a little duct tape here, and this is important. So we're trying to support the bottom so it can't go anywhere, makes sense? So I, I see a lot of people trying to do it up here, or they'll have it pinched in the vise, and you're taking a risk that it can push through. You want a flat surface underneath there. All right, so we're gonna zoom in, but before we do here, you can see that's another great thing about this tool is it's not just a piece of pipe. It's got this machined hardened collar on here to basically whack against. So talking about wanting to to get that to line up. Do you see how I went ahead and just stuck it to the bearing now? Mm -hmm. It's not going to get much straighter than that if it doesn't fall off, right? See it popped off? Yep. yep. Okay. So just stop and check your work. Okay. Okay, it didn't change its sound yet, right? We're just double checking that seal. She's good, right? Mm -hmm. Check our work. Okay, let's get down there. Look at it, look like we're fully seated. We are. Part tool, there it is. Get you a part number there. CRS-2M. Make it a great day. Keep running. Keep running.